What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the San Mario Radio Sports Network and today we have another Miami Dolphins mock draft here. Uh, this video will go up on Monday. I'm recording on Sunday, but it'll go up on Monday uh, and then I will have finally I have an official date for when the mock draft uh, for I'm gonna do four rounds at first and I'll do seven uh, probably in about a week or two, but I have the first four rounds of my NFL mock draft complete done and i'm super super excited to get it to you guys and that video will go out on wednesday so the four round mock draft for the nfl will go out on wednesday but today we have the miami dolphins mock draft and i love doing these because i love every week i have something different which i want to do them so that's why i like doing them weekly and today i have a completely completely different way of drafting so i'm gonna draft my team in a completely different way than what i did the last time last time i went strictly defense uh, and didn't care about anything else now this time it's gonna be a little bit different i'm gonna try to go strictly defense uh but i'm gonna address certain issues as well or some things i might not have an issue with it'll be a lot different uh, than the previous one, but I will be going in a direction that I firmly believe is the best direction. Now, what the fuck? Okie dokie doke. I'm not too sure what just happened. Take a reboot on that. It didn't give us the dolphins for whatever reason. Let's let's redo this. Yo no sé why it just did that, but let's redo this here. Okie dokie. All right, so now we're back. We're going to be able to pick again. It's going to be different picks now, which upsets me because I was going to pick for his lamp there. Uh, but we'll see how the draft board falls now. That's stupid that that just happened. I'm not going to even edit that out. I'm just going to let this play on. Uh, but hopefully Forest Lamp still falls. Okay, so it is our pick. Jabril Peppers just went. So there are a lot of players on this board that I really like. One of them being Derek Barnett. The other one being Taco Charlton. Malik McDowell, I really, really like uh, on the inside. I'm talking about defense strictly. I like TJ Watt. Takaris McKinley has a motor like no other. And I doubt that he falls that far to us. I could take Gerard Davis in the second. But Tack McKinley has a motor like no other. And this could be a higher pick. But I'm going to go. I'm going to say that in this draft, I trade Jawan James. I'm going to grab Garrett Bowles out of Utah. I know a lot of you guys would want me to go with a defensive player there. But. I'm going to go Garrett Bowles on that one. Tack McKinley just went to the Steelers. So a lot of people are going to be starting to get picked up. It might not be the wisest choice. A lot of you guys aren't going to like that pick. But I thought I'm going to make it. Cooper Cup. He goes to the Rams. TJ Watt to the Chargers. T's Tabor. Chidobe Awuzie. Desmond King. Caleb Brantley. Now as long as a linebacker that I want doesn't go off the board. We should be fine here. And we get... Hit with a great, great opportunity to grab Gerard Davis or Aquam McMillan. Where did my guy go? Zach Cunningham went 23 to the Giants. So now we have the perfect opportunity here to get a linebacker. But I don't know if I want to grab one. The other opportunity, <clears throat> the one thing I want to do here is go Fabian uh, Morrow. I'm going to believe that either Corn Elder or Akilo Witherspoon will be there for me. And I'm going to go and take a little bit of a, of a, not necessarily risk, but a guy who's had some health issues in the past year, Gerard Davis, one of my favorite players. Uh, I am a Florida Gators fan. So him and Alex Anzalone, uh, Alex Anzalone Quincy Wilson, Tease Tabor, Marcus May, Caleb Brantley, Brian Cox Jr. I mean, uh, I, I love these guys. I think they're going to be outstanding. And Marcus May is the guy I want to pick here. But I'm going to take a risk. And I'm going to grab Gerard Davis. And hope that uh, Marcus May falls to me in the third. If not, then I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, a corner. 
but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get Marcus May. We have a later of a third round pick, so we'll have to see. And if neither of them are there, I'm going to try to grab a guard. The one guy I'm looking at here is Dorian Johnson. Uh, so it'll be the Dorian Johnson or either um, Ethan Polchik, but he, uh, Polchik, Polchik, I don't know how to say your name, but he's a center from LSU. I really like him. So we'll see there, but Dorian Johnson is not off the board yet. Neither is Marcus May. Our pick is coming up soon. Hopefully Dorian Johnson just went. So hopefully Marcus May falls and we get him to fall. So. We get Marcus May. There's still Deion Dawkins here and Ethan Pokick or Pochick or however you say his name. I would like to go guard, but I already went offensive line. And right now, I want to grab Corn Elder. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and grab. I think we're, our corners are fine. We need another safety. Marcus May is a guy who can be a huge help. I would like to grab Tedrick Thompson again. I'm going to change it up. I'm going to go Marcus May, go back-to-back -back Florida. Uh, I think you can super, super, I mean, him and Rashad Jones could be a deadly duo. Uh, so Garrett Bowles, Rod Davis, Marcus May. Uh, I think Marcus May and Rod Davis are two day one starters and Garrett Bowles. So right there, you get three starters in three rounds. Now, I know on the clock has some guys who should be first rounders, second rounders that go in the third and the second uh, it's really weird. A lot of guys fall. Uh, it kind of goes to the thing of, you know, shit happens in the NFL. People fall, and you know, it's unpredictable. The NFL draft is unpredictable. So that's why I like on the clock. That's why I continuously go with on the clock uh, and why I will never change because it is unpredictable, and that's what I love about it. Just I love – that's why I love the NFL draft. You never know what's going to happen. Ever, ever, ever. You never know what's going to happen. That's why I like it. Now we have three, three fifth round picks here. So we got to hit with all three of these. One of the guys I'm looking at right now that I see is still on the board is uh, Javarius Lehman. I don't know how to say his name correctly. I'm not disregard that. I'm trying to get into a uh, COD game right now, but... I do see where was he? I come on, please tell me he didn't just get drafted. It wasn't Kyle Fuller. Ah, oh, Glasgow just got drafted. Are you kidding me? What corners are available? Tacho is a guy I like. I'll wait a little bit. Josh Caraway is another guy I like. He's dropped a little bit on people's boards. I think I'm gonna grab a backup center here in Kyle Fuller. And then with our next pick, uh, there's not a lot of linebackers or running backs I like that can be a guy to compete for a job. Wide receiver wise, same thing. Tight end wise, same thing. So I might grab a guard here in Javarius Lehman or. Josh Caraway. I think actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab Tacho and then I'm going to grab Caraway. Interesting enough that I pick him before Caraway, but I took the chance. And now if they fall again, the other guy that I want to pick with our seventh rounder is going to be, um, fuck, I can't remember his name. I think he might have actually just gotten drafted. I think he did. Okay, never mind. Here he is. Matt Milano. There was another guy that I think did get drafted, though. Oh, no, there he is. Dylan Donahue. That's the other guy I want to grab is Dylan Donahue or Brian Cox. Wow, they have Brian Cox going way far down. I didn't even see his name. He's a guy that can play defensive tackle and defensive end. And his dad was a Miami Dolphin. We have a high seventh, too. So Brian Cox could be the play here. Yep, there we go. Brian Cox, and hopefully it fixed it and we don't have a second seventh anymore. If not, I'm just going to do once again what I did the last time and just draft uh, the worst available player. So hopefully it fixed it and we don't have two seventh round picks. And we don't. Cool, fixed it, so we're good there. 
and we have our draft set. I think this is probably my favorite draft that I've ever done. Yeah, this has probably got to be my most favorite draft that I've done out of all the drafts I've done. So we get a stellar offensive lineman, which is no way he falls to 22. Um, in the first round, a guy to compete with Jawan James, and if Jawan James can't live up to the pressure, you trade him for a pick in the 2018 draft. I think that's perfect. Then a guy who's not going to fall to the second round. Uh, and Gerard Davis, a steal at 54. A guy who can be a great outside linebacker. He played outside linebacker at Florida. Uh, he's a stellar tackler. As long as he's healthy, he can be outstanding. Marcus May, a very good safety. Uh, a very good value pick there in the top 100. You got him at 97. Then you don't have a fourth. You go to the fifth round. And your first one, you get a backup center. Some more challenge on that offensive line for Anthony Steen, uh, Craig Urbic, Jermon Bushrod, and Mike Pouncey, as well as Ted Larson. Stop calling me. Uh, and then you get a corner in Jack Tocho, or Tocho, however you say his name, out of NC State. A guy who had a very good combine. I think he could be a very good corner. Needs some developing. He'll be a backup. He'll get some time to develop in the system. Then you get another guy, two edge rushers, and Josh Carraway and Brian Cox Jr., uh, who with some development can be very good for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, both of them could be the future at edge rusher for the Dolphins, which is a very, very good thing. It would be very awesome if they can get that done, and I would love it. I have to go very quickly and do <laughs> and go do this. So I hope you guys did very much enjoy this video. I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you comment. I hope you subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are edging in on 500 at this moment. Uh, I cannot wait to hit it. So make sure you guys like the video. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment down below. Uh, if you do a draft, go do a draft on FanSpeak. Let me know what you guys think about it. I will catch you guys later. Make sure you guys, like I said, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe. And as always, peace. By the way, Dion Waiters is clutch.